Hello my crystals and welcome back to my ASMR channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely amazing and taking care of yourselves as best as you can. Today's video is a vintage slash vintage inspired haul. So I will be showing you some pieces that I recently obtained from various thrift or antique shops or consignment shops, or Poshmark. So, some of them are more winter pieces, so I might not be wearing them anytime soon, but let's get right into the video. So, this first piece, is Jones Square. It is a collared blouse. It has a geometric pattern to it. It is a light tan and black color with long sleeves. The texture of it is polyester. It's polyester. And it is not too heavy, not too light. I was thinking of just wearing it open with a black tube top or black crop top underneath and some shorts or, you know, some sort of type of jeans or something. It does have black buttons on it. I was even thinking of um, perhaps um, tying it at the bottom so like some of it would be buttoned and then I would tie it in the knot at the bottom and have it like um, a little bit cropped. And again, it has a collar to it. Obviously, I wouldn't wear it with my current shirt. But, just to give you an idea of the style. So that is the first piece. This is not really vintage, um, but I think it's pretty, um, a little more on the classic side. Um, it is this wide brimmed hat. I've been wanting a hat like this for a while, and I picked this up at the TJ Maxx that I went to while I was in Florida. So on the back, it has this cute little bow. And the bow is actually a Velcro strap. I don't know why I said that's so weird. Velcro. Velcro, Velcro. It has this little loop so you can hang it up and you can fit it to your head size as you please. So
I do have a hair clip in right now. is kind of what it looks like minus the lopsidedness it really keeps the sun out of your face you don't want any sun damage It has different brown stripes all across it. And it is made out of a um, rattan fabric or like a, I don't know, what do you call this? Oh, paper, 100%. It's made out of 100% paper. So again, this isn't exactly vintage, um, but I thought it would look so cute with some of these pieces, and I'll, I'll mention which ones would look good with this hat, um, especially for summer. I know I'm definitely going to be getting a lot of use out of this hat. Um, like if I go to the beach and stuff, and even when I'm outside reading, I've already used it a ton. So, it's super cute, super classic. I think it has such like a old lady granny vibes, like out in the garden type of feel. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else gets what I mean by that, but... Next up, this is an actual vintage piece that I found while I was at an antique shop in Florida. It is this collared shirt. It almost looks like you could go bowling in it, um, but I would go to a disco in it if I've ever go to a disco this is what I'm gonna be wearing with some bell bottoms probably I might have a few outfit changes actually because there's some other outfits that I would wear to the disco as well but it's got this funky pattern with different oranges and rust colors in it I think it's so cool this is the tag. I don't know. Some people like looking at the tags. It's 100% polyester, double knit. It was made in Korea. And it even has this tag. Um, my rabbit was a horrible boy. And he chewed some of it. How rude. Um, it says double knit, 100% polyester. I think this is the original tag from it. I don't think this has ever been worn. Um, it has, like, care instructions on it. It says 100% polyester. Care instructions, machine wash, wash slash wear cycle, low temperatures. That's funny, it says temperatures, not temperatures. Um, drip or tumble dry, do not rub or twist. Needs no ironing, do not dry clean. It looks like it's a vintage tag, just by, I don't know, the, the vibe just gets off, it gives off. Um, but it's got this geometric pattern along the collar. And it is long sleeved. It's not gonna look that good with the scrub top that I'm wearing, but it 
I'll still show you what it looks like. So yeah, I would probably wear this buttoned up and then tucked inside of some high-waisted jeans. Um, yeah, I think that's how I would wear this. This is more on the thicker side. It's not exactly like a light knit fabric. It's more like a thicker fabric. So I probably wouldn't wear it until the fall or perhaps the winter. next piece I got at a thrift store I think I got this for a dollar yeah there was a place we went to that they have a dollar section and it's a pretty large section um, and I think I got this blouse in that section it is a again another collared we have a theme here. It's a collared blouse. Um, this one is light, light and light knit. So I've already worn this once and I wore it when I was in Florida. Um, I don't think I've met, like told you guys about my Florida trip. Um, I went and visited my grandma and we did lots of shopping and um, that's mostly what we did. We went shopping, ate out at restaurants, went to see some farm animals that live nearby, easy stuff like that. Um, so anyways, I did wear this in Florida and I wore it with a yellow tube top because it matches the yellow in here and some jean shorts. No, that's a lie. I did not wear jean shorts with this. I wore white linen pants with this. Like some flowy white linen pants that I also got on the trip. And it was the most comfortable outfit. If it got cold inside, I could put this on. And then when, it, when we went outside and it was warm, I could take it off and just wear my tube top and the white flowy pants. And then, you know, this was like a nice little, um, over-the-shoulder type deal like something like this but I would also wear it with the sleeves on and then you know my tube top and it was just the most comfy outfit and it was super cute as well so this is by the brand see there's those motations or rotations um, I don't know. I can't really read what it says. But anyways, it's got a bunch of pretty colors in it. It is a floral pattern with some pastel flowers, roses, a bunch of different types of flowers. And it's got some teal, coral, salmon, pale pink, um, white, yellow, and then a black background. So I'm in love with this top. I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it in the spring and summer and also in the fall. Okay, so this next item is a dress. This one is a vintage inspired item. It's not a an authentic vintage piece, but I found it at the antique shop. It is by London Times and it is This groovy dress. So 
so it has basically every color in the rainbow in this, honestly. Um, it's got three quarter length sleeves, it hits um, above the knee, I believe, on me. Um, it's not too short, not too long. Um, and just look at all the pretty colors that are in here. So yeah, basically every color in the rainbow. I don't see purple in here, but basically every other color. Oh, and no green either. Whoops. I just think the pattern is so cool. And then at the bottom, there's some um, stripes. I don't know whether I'd wear this dress yet, definitely to a disco, but, um, I've actually, confession, never been to a disco because there are no discos around my area. I always look to see if, like, you know, there's some sort of disco night or something at one of the bars or clubs nearby, um, but I can never find anything. Does anybody have any discos near them? Um, if I had the money, I would start my own disco, but, um, yeah, I can't do that right now. Does anybody still- I love disco music, I don't know about anybody else. Sorry, I'm getting off on a disco tangent. Um, does anybody else listen to 70s music or, like, groovy disco music in general? Would you come to my disco if I made one? Not that I would make one, but... Yeah, I mean, that's kind of my vibe. <laughs> Anyways. Next, we have a skirt. It is a floral midi skirt, so it goes past my knees, but it doesn't go down to my ankles. It's got... I think it has a slit on the side? Yes. No, there's no slit, actually. I got this in a place in... Oh, I got this in a place in near Orlando, Florida, called Chic to Chic. Um, it is by the brand, actually I don't think there's a brand on here, okay, but yes, it is this elegant looking, oh my gosh, It is this elegant looking skirt. I I could wear this in the summer, I would say, like with a either a black or a white um little crop top or something. It would look really cute and then like some sandals with it. Or I could even wear like um Doc Martens with this. I think it would look pretty cool. I know that that's like, a thing that some people do is, like, wear skirts and then Doc Martens with the skirt to kind of, like, even out the, um, the elegance of it. So you have something more, um, like, masculine and then you have something more feminine and it kind of gives, a like, a nice contrast to your outfit. Um, so I could do that, but I could also just wear it with sandals and, like, a cute little, um, crop top or something, and, um, I think it'd look really cute. Okay, so we have three more items. The next item is from Free People. 
but again, they're 70s-esque, high-waisted bell-bottoms. So this is the pattern. These are incredibly soft, very stretchy, and they are wide leg, of course. So for those of you who don't know, this is kind of my signature look. So I, when I go out, I will usually wear like a fun pair of pants, fun pair of wide leg pants and some sort of top with it, but yeah, that's my go-to, so I'm adding these to my collection. Okay, my rabbits are to act up. This next piece or pieces, I should say, are authentic vintage pieces that I got from the antique store that I was at in Florida. So they are a sweater and a sweater vest matching set. So, this is the sweater, it's by the brand Bowden Knits, Bowden Knits, it is a white sweater with green um, trim along all the edges. the cardigan sweater that matches is the same thing. So it has two pockets on either side. It's long sleeved. It's got some some like texture to it. It's nice and thick. And I would definitely wear these together, but I could also wear them separate. So, if I wore them together, it would look something like this. And you'd wear the, you'd wear the, um, the sweater vest underneath the cardigan. This is definitely more of a fall slash winter um, item, but I could get by wearing this in the summer, I mean in the, the spring, um, just by itself, and like tucking it into some, some sort of pants, I don't know yet, but it would be cute just to wear on its own as well. And again, there's no flaws on any of the um, authentic vintage stuff. Um, no stains, no rips. So they were really well taken care of and um, I got really lucky. Okay, so this last piece um, is my favorite. It's not necessarily authentic vintage, but the style is extremely classic and it's got like some really cute attributes to it. So, again, I bought this in Florida and um, why am I buying coats in Florida? Yeah, I don't know. But I made extra room in my suitcase so that I could buy whatever I wanted. 
and I fell in love with this coat. So that's what happened. <laughs> it's extremely wrinkled because um, it was packed tight in my suitcase. But once I get the wrinkles out, um, it'll be really cute on. <laughs> Is this long lime green petticoat? It's not necessarily a rain jacket. Um, it's more of a petticoat, I would say. It doesn't have a hood. It just has a collar, and then. There's a beautiful lining in it, which is so chic. I love it so much. It's got like purses and jewelry and bows and what else? shoes. I just think it's like the cutest lining ever. I think it totally makes the jacket. It's from a brand called Casual Corner. It's got this little piece on the back and then it hits, it goes past my knees. So it does have a slit in the back. I was thinking of wearing it as a, like a jacket dress. Um, but the slit goes a little too far up, so I would only be able to wear it as a jacket. Um, but it's still so stinking cute. Um, there's actually one more item that I totally forgot about. And that is these pair of shoes. They are by Anne Klein. They have an adorable little kitten heel to them. They have this cute little bow on the front. They are a pointed toe. They've never been worn, it looks like. They look brand new. But I did get these at a consignment shop and when I got them well when I was looking at them I forget which one my heel even was now I think it might have been this one. Oh yeah you can still kind of see it just a little bit but there's a tiny stain Right there and it was a lot worse at first so we asked about it and she gave half off on these shoes so I got them for $13 and I was able to get the stain out with just some laundry detergent and a toothbrush and you can't even notice when you're wearing them that there's even a little stain there and even, like right now, it's very hard to tell, like maybe close up you can see it, but like when I'm wearing them, you can't even notice that there's a stain. So I think these are adorable and they go with the jacket that I'm wearing in my YouTube profile picture. They go with that almost perfectly, so I think this would be such a fit if I wore them together. I'm extremely excited to wear them. And the heel is just so tiny, but they're so easy to walk in. So, that is 
the entirety of the haul thus far. I have a lot of vintage clothing, but it would take forever for me to show you everything. This is just some stuff that I got within the last month or two, I would say. Again, I don't go shopping that often, um, but when I do, I usually go thrifting or go to some sort of secondhand store. I um, try not to shop retail if I don't have to, especially if it's just um, like clothing for fun, not necessarily needs, you know what I mean? Like obviously if I need something, I will go and buy it at a retail sh shop. Um, but if it's just clothing for fun, I much prefer to find unique things at the thrift store anyways, so it's a win-win. Anyways, I thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed just looking at the items, or I'm hoping that this video, um, relaxed you in some way, shape, or form. I am so grateful for you being here, and I just want to remind you that you are loved and abundant always, 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 always. I hope you have an amazing night's rest, and I will see you very shortly in my next video. Good night, Crystal.